how to make a font thicker in Cricut Designs Base 2024 edition. If you're new here, my name is Rona. I am making the cute life on Instagram and YouTube where I share cute, crafty ideas, small business stuff, all things small business. And today I'm here as a Cricut UK ambassador. The reason that I'm doing this video today, I was doing some workshops last week and this was something I spoke about a few times, was that Cricut is just one of those things that you learn so much as you're doing it. Like so many people are scared to start, but really like, I think we're all there at the start. It's just like a thing. Um, Cause I was saying like once when I bought my machine, actually, I think I bought my machine around, around Christmas time and I didn't actually start using it until about April. Um, and then I started etching glasses. That was the first thing I've ever done, but I just like got good at that and then moved on to another thing. So this was something that came up pretty quickly for me, like as a problem that I had, that I had to Google to fix it. But the reason that I was speaking about this at my workshops last week is because when I went on to YouTube, just realised I'm wearing a dirty jumper to do this, but when I went on to YouTube, the first video that came up told me that I should, so this is when you're on design space and if you want to make some a point thicker but you don't have the bold option there so the video that i seen back then so a few years ago now told me to go into like microsoft word make the font bold there screenshot it upload it as a des image to design space and then that was how to make it thicker and for months like honestly probably almost a year i feel, feel like forever anyway that's what I'd done and I had lots, I had like so many orders come through during that time, like thousands. So yeah, this is what I'm going to show you today. A lot of you, like people that, obviously if you have your Cricut machine and you're using it a lot, you'll know this already, but I'm guessing this video will be more people that have actually searched for this. Okay, so over to Design Space we go. Okay, so heading over to Design Space, I'm going to click on New Project and open up a blank canvas. The first thing that I realised that this was an issue for me was when I was making a keyring. So just to show you, I'm going to get a little circle. It always is actually this perfect size for the little keyring that I make sometimes. Um, so I don't even need to change that. I'm going to go into text. So this was the first text that I noticed it for, which is called Sweet Grace, which is a beautiful little text. But as you can see, like if you look at those, like the ends, Especially when you think like that is like a really, if you're making that really small to go on a key ring, like the ends are just absolutely tiny. So at the start, I would actually just cut that like totally as normal and like I would even cut it a few times and I just noticed like it was like just so, so thin and I needed something better. So you can see I'm going to click on offset and it automatically always seems to set it to that 0 0.635 and you can look and see like how big that is around it. So I'm just going to change it just to show you I'm going to go to 0 0.3 and I always just click somewhere else. You can see I just clicked on the wee white box to see like you can see the outline around it there. I'm going to change it to 0 0.1 and you can still see like it's obviously not as big but still pretty big, too big for doing a name. But now I've changed it to 0 0.01 and yeah, you can actually like barely see that roundabout. So I'm going to click apply on that one. And then when I move my first one out the way, you can see that second one with the, just the tiny little 0 0.01 offset. It's just a tiny little bit thicker. A bit thicker, I'm going to go for 0 0.015. You can see I kind of play about with it a little bit. But yeah, look at that. So it's just, again, a tiny little bit thicker than that first one that I've done. And yeah, it, like depending on what project that you're doing, like use whatever's best for you. The only thing is, once you've done offset, you then can't go in and change the font. So make sure whatever you have written is exactly how you want it because yeah, you can't then click on the offset. It's almost like an image that you've created. Okay, there we go. I hope that helps. If there's any questions, like. I'm guessing that should have answered any questions for you. Absolutely anything though, just let me know in the comments. If you do have a Cricut machine and you're just randomly watching this and you think that you have a better way, feel free to also let me know. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Bye.